Hey guys, welcome back to tutorial number 5. In today's one we're going to be going over the uh, cameras. So, in the Unreal Engine, cameras are really important and what we're going to be doing today is putting two cameras in our scene and snapping between the two cameras. I'll be using one method, um, set view target, which basically just snaps from one camera to the other. And then we're going to be using another one which looks really nice, which is set view target with blend and that's going to allow us to smoothly blend between our two cameras and trust me it looks really nice so without further ado let's get started um, I'm going to drag in a camera here and I'll just put this right about there looks fine I suppose drag it up a wee bit and I'm going to add the second camera using a different method but still one that's pretty easy to understand basically any um, thing in our scene we can add a component to it. I'm going to drag in a cube here and as you can see if I click add component with the cube selected I can add a camera component to my cube. As you can see this camera is now attached to the cube. I've got the cube selected but under the components um, camera is one of them. So now this cube has a camera component. All I'll do here is just sort of rotate this a little bit uh, Let's just get this on a nice, nice looking angle. And yeah, that should be fine. Alright, so we've got two cameras here. Now what I'm going to do is add a uh, class. And this is going to be a camera utility class. All you need to do is go file, add code to project, actor, and then I've already added one called uh, camera utility and I've already run some code but we're going to rewrite it anyway so I'll just delete all that and we can get started. So this camera utility is going to have two cameras. So let's make those now. U property, edit anywhere. Um, let's see, uh, actor, uh, camera one, U property edit anywhere actor camera 2 then we're just going to have a float uh, time to next camera change because we need something to count how long we're going to be um, you're waiting until we transition over from one camera to the other. I'm going to make mine two seconds between transitions. So now with all these variables laid out in our header file, we can go into the CPP and start adding some code to the tick function. The first thing I'll do is declare two constant uh, float variables. The first one is going to be uh, time between camera changes and const float uh, smooth blend time. And, oh, I need to declare these, whoops. This one's going to be 2, and this one's going to be 0 0.75 seconds. Also, if you don't know what const means, const basically means constant, meaning that we can't change the variable. So, for example, smooth blend time is 0 0.75 now. I couldn't say anything like smooth blend time equals 2. It, it wouldn't be a uh, valid statement. So, basically, const variables cannot be changed. The first thing we're going to do is just take time to next camera change. We're going to remove delta time from that. And that's going to allow us to basically count down. So we're counting down. What happens when we get to zero? Let's uh, do an if statement. So time to next camera change less than or equal to zero. What happens when it's time to transition? Well, the first thing we need to do is reset it, right? So when the time to next camera change is less than or equal to zero, let's uh, take it back to time between camera changes, right? Now we're going to make a player controller. Uh, I'll call this a player equals u gameplay statics. So we're going to be using 
Um, oh, this header file here, by the way, uh, you guys need to add that. So, kismet slash gameplaystatics.h. Gameplaystatics.h basically just has a bunch of really handy functions in here, and we're going to be using one of those right now. So, you gameplaystatics, uh, get player controller, and then we just pass this zero. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we even try to uh, access our player is our if our player and basically what's that what that's saying is is our player initialized is it returning true if it if it does return true we can now do some checks so uh, let's just lay out some if statements so uh, if let's see here um, if camera hmm if camera 2 so if camera 2 is initialized um, and a player get view target equals camera one then we can set the view target to camera two so um, our player um, set view target with blend so the set view target with blend is going to basically smoothly move from one camera to the other so we're going to pass that camera two and then the time that we want to take to smooth blend, so we've already declared that up here, 0 0.75. Um, else if camera 1 uh, then cut straight to camera 1. So our player uh, set view target and we're not sending it with blend, we're just doing an instant cut this time to camera 1. Okay, so with all that code there, let's go ahead and compile that and see if everything works. Right, so it's all compiled, let's drag camera utility into the game now. So we've created an instance of it, now we need to link our cameras to it. So I'm going to link my cube here, uh, cube, as the first camera, and then for camera two, I'm going to use uh, camera actor. Let's hit play and see if it works. So we start on this camera, and then we blend to the other one. After enough time, it, it switches straight back, and so on and so forth. So I know this seems pretty simple, and uh, it is, but basically we are just uh, blending between the two cameras. Now you might notice that something weird happens, we get these black bars on the side. And that's because, if I just stop here uh, and select this camera, uh, camera, uh, you want to turn constraint aspect uh, ratio on. So with that, uh, with that change added, we should be able to now, there we go. So it keeps the same aspect ratio the entire time. Anyways guys, uh, that's tutorial number five. I know it's been an easy one but it's still uh, helpful to know cameras. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.